I'm glad you said that because um, always giving respect to your team is something that makes you great. But here's a question that I ask everybody because I said three, but I can't do it. I think we hit everything. We we superseded what the um what this interview was supposed to be. Thank you so much for coming on Average Hip Hop. Here's my last question though. Your job as an artist is to be relevant and leave a, a footprint so that when they dig up your your your, your legacy. It means something. That's what makes most of the artists out right now fucking garbage. Hate to curse, but that's how I feel. I'm really passionate. Because when I listen to... I don't want to say nobody's name. Just put it like this. When you listen to the music that's really relevant right now, they're not going to play this. You're not going to see people touring at 50 years old talking about the stuff they're talking about. So it's truly pretty trash. But when you have music that stands the test of time, you have a legacy. Before I say this question, I want to say this to you. The day you start writing is the day your music is going to elevate the masses because they missed it. But to the people who caught it, you have music that's just as relevant as Emily Dickinson, Zora Neale Hurston, James Baldwin. What's my man who writes um, Black Panther? Tahisi Coates. Mm -hmm. You have relevant music that goes beyond the beat. The person who reminds me of you so much is the guy from the Five Heartbeats, Duck. Cause they told him when he hurts, he's gonna be a better writer. And when he left the Five Heartbeats and went into his writing, he was a world renowned author. Mm -hmm. I think that's you now, but you're just putting it to music. So whether you rhyme or you write, you have already changed the world. But what is the legacy that you leave behind? Because one day you're not going to be here. But when they dig your music up in the year 3000, 5000, 7000 AD, and they say, who the hell is Jay Wonder? And they hear you. How did you make the world better by making music and being yourself? I was honest. I was given knowledge about life and uh, speaking about messing up and letting them know it's okay to mess up, but it's all about, all about how you come back from it. And uh, when you say something, when you make a statement, you gotta stand behind that. Uh, there's a lot of things. And I, I, it's probably more. I won't even know, like, because I, I ain't done everything yet. I'm not finished. Like, right, so, okay. it's a lot, but I, that's that's something. And learning, learning to be very understanding with people <laughs> be be try to be try your best to be as patient as possible but don't do it too much because it you can you can it can hurt you in a sense like um you give too much you give too much love you gotta stay leave, leave a little bit more love for yourself mm -hmm. you know don't don't overdo it don't overdo things and try not to overthink and get trapped in your head because when you get trapped in your head you go crazy you get insane if you up here for too long so um yeah alright well everybody out there <laughs> I hope you got I hope the I best kinda, I hope I gave you a good answer but that's I'm just giving you the real I want answer a you. good answer I just want your answer yeah. whatever you say is true to you so that's what that's what I want to leave behind yeah. and try to love and treat people well and be careful what you put out into the universe because whatever you put out, you're gonna get back. Hell yeah. So, so to everybody out there that's being evil, it's coming. Oh yeah. <laughs> and, and and look, I've had my I had karma kick me in the ass a couple times. Oh. A couple times. Oh. And she going look, and when, when you got a debt, she gonna come and collect that shit. Best believe. Facts. Just like that. So I had look. I had to straighten up out here like, oh, I, that's your, your name come? I'm good. I don't got no problems. I'm over here chilling. <laughs> I don't got no problem over here with my little drink and I'm chilling. I'm good. So, uh, yeah, man, take care of yourselves, man. Stay healthy, you know. Try to be as cool and nice as possible. Don't let nobody get over you, but just be the best person that you can be. And buy the music. Yes. Stop being corny. Buy the music. Buy the damn No music. streaming. TC5 Free From The Past is out right now. Go get it, man. That's right. Love. Ask yourself, are you hip hop without your phone? Because we are. Yeah. Peace. <laughs> <laughs>
real, real.